I'm glad that you're watching today's newest video. I thank you so much for being a part of this channel. Thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed to this channel, as I know I have 27 subscribers. If you're watching, there's a chance you have subscribed. If you have not subscribed already, then I am asking you to hit that subscribe button down below. There might also be a link up here to subscribe. Really, all that you need to subscribe is a Gmail account. You just have to go on YouTube and log into Gmail. You don't need your own YouTube channel to subscribe. Really, all that you need is Gmail. So, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. If you haven't shared this channel already, or shared one of the videos on this channel, whichever video you like, if you haven't went ahead and shared one of them, share them with your friends. You know, we're only at 27 subscribers right now, but if every single one of you who have subscribed would tell one friend, and that one friend subscribed as well, then, hey, we'd already be over 50. Think about that. Think about how big this channel could grow if you just tell some other people. And think about how then they tell other people. It's just the gospel going forth. Because as you know, if you're already acquainted with this channel, that's what this channel is about. The gospel going forth. And uh, I think it was about a week or two weeks ago, I had a video that had a poll in it of what kind of video you, the subscriber, the viewer, want to see more of. And last I checked on that poll, it was still only 50 50 between my first ever YouTube series entitled His Story of Christ in America and me doing some more politics and current events. So since it was 50 50, I decided that today I'm going to discuss politics and current events. And if you didn't get to vote in that poll, there will be a new poll today. It should be right up there. You should be seeing that about now. If you're not seeing that, make sure that you have annotations turned on to YouTube and go ahead and vote for which video you want to see more of, what you want my next, or maybe not my next, but what you want future videos to be about. So go ahead and do that. And today, since uh, politics and current events is a lot easier for me to do the history of Christ in America, I've decided to do some politics and current events, which is one of my favorite things to talk about. So I'm really glad that you've joined me today for that. And today, as you can probably see by the title, we are going to be discussing, in particular, a religion that is becoming bigger and bigger. I mean, seriously, if you haven't noticed yet, this religion is just growing like crazy, especially here in America. This religion just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Today, we're going to be talking about Islam, the religion of peace. Yeah, that's, that's kind of not true. Okay, that's what we're going to be talking about today, how Islam is not really the religion of peace. I'm, I'm really bringing this up because of all the terrorist attacks that have been happening lately in Paris. I uh, even think about 9-11. Now, I don't know if you actually like Donald Trump or not. I would, I'm nearly positive most of my subscribers do. By the way, hit that like button down below and leave a comment if you do support Donald Trump. But if you like his stance on policies or not, you have to admit that he's already doing a pretty good job fighting terrorism. A leader of Taliban, a Taliban commander, was killed in an airstrike that, of course, was led by Trump's Department of Defense. Now, I know that Trump has never stated I'm fighting Muslims, but he has stated I'm fighting radical Islamic terrorism. But today, I'm going to explain to you how what Trump is fighting is really more so Islam than it is radical Islamic terrorism. Because the truth, even though what I'm about to say is very unpopular, I'm not really scared of being controversial, okay? There are a lot of big YouTubers out there that are controversial. I'm not afraid to be controversial, okay? I'm not afraid to voice my opinion. This is America, freedom of speech. And so, yeah. But the real issue here with all the terrorist attacks is Islam. The quote-unquote religion of peace is actually the real issue that we have is one of the issues that the world has. All right, Islam has been plaguing the entire globe for years and years now. And as you know, the Quran is the Muslim holy book, basically the Muslim version of the Bible. And in the Quran, it is clearly stated that Muslims are to fight those who do not believe in Allah. Here are some of the phrases, some of the things that are said in the Quran. At one point in the Quran, we're speaking to the Muslims. It says, fighting is prescribed for you. Also, we're referring to those who do not believe in Islam, or as the Muslims call them, infidels. The Quran says, kill them wherever you find them. Sounds a lot like the terrorists of today, just killing 
Christians and killing Jews and killing even atheists wherever you find them. And it even goes on to say in the Quran, those who believe fight in the cause of Allah. So basically, the Quran is telling people, telling Muslims, that if they believe, that they've got to fight for Allah. So much for religion of peace. And by the way, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below to the website, to a website that has compiled together a lot of verses from the Quran talking about simple murder. And I know what some of you may be thinking, Matthew, I think that the Old Testament talks about murder as well. I and mean, look at all the Canaanites that God told the children of Israel to kill. I mean, it's not really fair to talk about violence in the Quran because there's violence in the Old Testament too. That is true. That there is violence in the Old Testament. But yeah, in the Old Testament, it's more like a country warring against another country. Which isn't a it isn't a bad thing when it's needed. Um, the fighting that we see in the Old Testament, it's for the sake of uh being able to survive, really. I mean, if Israel hadn't taken out all those countries, those countries would have destroyed Israel and Jesus would have never been born. Think about it. If they hadn't killed the Canaanites said if they hadn't destroyed all these other countries, then Israel would have been destroyed. And Jesus came from Israel, so who have no clue what things would be like today if it wasn't for Israel doing what God told them to do and defeating other nations. So that's one thing when a nation is warring against another. Obviously, God's not completely against that. But it's another thing when a religion is warring against people who just don't believe the same religion. I just want to point out how the Bible really backs me up. In the book of Genesis, chapter 16, and verse 12, I'm going to read that really quickly. And this is referring to a man called Ishmael. And if you've never heard of Ishmael, you can read about him in the book of Genesis. He was the son of Abraham, and the Bible speaks of him as what I'm about to read to you. God spoke concerning Ishmael. He said, And he will be a wild man. His hand will be against every man, and every man's hand against him. And he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. And just in case you don't know, Ishmael, from Ishmael would come the Arabic people, the Palestinian people, the Majority of which are Muslims. Now, I understand that some of them are Christians. Some who live in those Middle Eastern countries are Christians. But the majority are Muslims. And the Bible the Bible often speaks very prophetically. All right? Just think, notice that. That in the Bible, a lot of things spoken of are things in the future. So when it says that Ishmael will be wild, it also means that his descendants are going to be wild as well. So there's biblical proof that Islam is not a religion of peace. And once again, you can go to the link in the description down below. Might even be a link up here for it. It tells you all the verses in the Quran that speak about killing people. And I know this has been a controversial topic, and I hope that haven't offended you. But if you agree with me, subscribe, hit like. So thank you for watching. Once again, please subscribe. Please share if you haven't shared this channel already. And um Thank you for watching. Keep fighting the good fight of faith. And remember that even though Allah tells people to go out and blow up things and murder, guess what? The God I serve, Jehovah, all he asks for us is faith, and he loves us no matter what.